do you see a, a you know a debate between uh, one being tactical and the other being more strategic because you know when you sit in a room uh, you know uh, a typical old world brand or an advertising uh, you know agency would come in and then say hey this is the way to build a brand uh, and uh, you know it all looks like hey here is a uh, you know a framework while uh, you know the importance of uh, the new world agencies understanding the strategic framework and the importance of the strategic guys understanding the uh, you know the in moment marketing which is also very important i think that needs to be a fusion of this and is that important it is so important swami it is a need of the hour and that's the thing that has given me sleepless nights uh, over the last few years which is to get our creative strategic teams to sort of think in a way which is not one directional or, or i do strategy and this is what i am strategic for i am a social media leader and that's the kind of work that i put out to be able to merge that has been one of the biggest challenges you know over the last few years because i moved from building an agency that was that was really all about you know winning on digital winning on social and then sort of you know as we grew you know bringing on talent that was uh you know that was very highly strategic and didn't understand uh the need for speed and didn't understand the need for why do we need to get turn around in you know in a couple of weeks rather than a few months um you know it is a challenge i do think that um everything is marketing there is no tactical strategic marketing if you are out there you're marketing right and you know i think we should take um, you know a sort of a page from a lot of the young companies who started out recently um brands i mean who started out recently who didn't necessarily focus on you know large scale brand building but still went out and were able to find some amount of success for themselves right let's just sort of look at mama earth for example and uh, No, there was no large scale brand building that was done for mama earth when they started out but uh or look at boat for example you know the headphone company they didn't go out and build large campaigns but they've been able to find they've been able to be consistent about a certain kind of philosophy right that is mama earth talking about certain kind of ingredients or uh, you know really no sort of experimenting with certain kind of ingredients boat on the other hand really going out and being very unique um, you know at great value being able to find very different kind of disruptors in you know in, in an already crowded headphone market industry both of these companies really have started large scale brand building after they reached a certain stage but they'd already reached that peak and they did that it, it was not distract a you know distracted marketing they were not saying one thing one day and another thing one day they stuck true to their values i am pure about my ingredients and i am a disruptor when it comes to the entire headphone market so be it the colors they came up with or be it the kind of you know equipment they came up with they've been able to do that and it and it makes you think that the amount of money that we spend in traditional brand building these guys have done it in a matter of no time right so there is that balance again that one has to strike in what we spend how much money and time on and how it is being able to understand that look at what they've done they've they put it out there with a certain kind of value system that they believed in as brands they were constantly experimenting they were going back and redoing things after listening to feedback consistently very quickly coming back out there and putting out new content new products etc right it is the speed the agility the uh, you know the the dna of disruption the dna of being able you know understanding how to win in the digital world it's 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 fabulous and uh, and it's something that so many of the traditional brands you know i i if, if this was 2 years ago i would have said gosh you guys really need to sit up and take notice but today everyone has sat up and taken notice you know they all know that uh, you need to change the way we operate as marketing and agency as marketing and agency partners uh, you know when we putting our product or communication on the market today